Hi guys. So I wanted to make a quick video just for my YouTube because currently I am not actually able to edit because I'm not home. I am actually currently visiting a couple people um, up in Seattle or at least near Seattle. I'm not going to tell you where I am visiting, obviously. But I did want to mention a couple things that, you know, had just come out. So the first thing that came out was Matt Pat's theory about security breach that had come out today. And here's what I have to give him. Good job, Matt Pat. That was by far your best theory. Definitely better than the first two because I have not been shy by the fact that I have not liked the first two. I liked a couple aspects of his, the first two theories. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's a couple things going wrong. But anyway, like I said, there are a couple aspects of the first theory that I liked. However, the overarching fact is that I don't believe in Gregory Bot. Um, I'm not good at explaining Gregory Bot evidence because I'm just not good really at explaining things all that much. <sighs> sorry, I needed a breath. <laughs> anyway, um, but if you want to go and get more evidence on Gregory Bot, like you could go follow a couple of the YouTube channels that I've been watching recently. Um, I'll put their links in the description. Um, but I did want to mention actually something about what he concluded at the ending, and that was that when Cassidy, in the third princess quest, when Cassidy goes to, like, the door from Help Wanted, um, he mentions that Cassidy was killing Glitchtrap, which is why Vanessa was able to be freed. I think that's mostly right, but I also think that the whole scream at the- he suggested that the scream at the end of the princess quest was Glitchtrap, and I think that's not the case at all. I think what that case was, was when Cassidy went to, like, kill Glitchtrap from the Wrath of Vanessa, she sacrificed herself for to, like, kill off Glitchtrap because now Glitchtrap is possessing something that's in the virtual world, or Cassidy, in the virtual world. I don't think... Or in the case, like, she was able to basically defeat him somehow by, like, her powers i guess because she definitely has powers as we see in fnaf 2 fnaf 1 like like most of because she is golden freddy however what i also want to mention is that that is not glitch trap scream that is way too high of a voice like if that was a scream of glitch trap then why the heck does he not sound like and instead it sounds like ah! oh my god oh my gosh that was so loud people I have people right out there. Um, so that's something I wanted to point out really quick. Second thing I wanted to point out. Uh, something that I had not mentioned in my previous theory that I wanted to bring up is the fact that a lot of people, or at least some things that, uh, about the theory that I had not brought up, is the fact that uh, the whole puppet mask inside the blob, a lot of people pointed out that the blob... Um, that the puppet was part partly possessing the blob because of the tentacles, just like how Nightmarion possessed... I mean, how Nightmarion had tentacles. However, to that, I need to object. And the reason why is because... The reason why Charlie's mask has the tear tracks is because she was possessed by the soul of Charlie. And that, hence the tear tracks, because now we know that Agony is the source of Remnant. However... If Remnant was possessing, if if Charlie was possessing the blob, that means that her Remnant would also be part of the blob. So then why the heck are her tear tracks not there? If her tear tracks were gone, does that mean that her soul, like, is now possessing the tentacles and not the mask? If that was the case, would she be possessing the body of the puppet but not the mask? It's like, it's like, no. The, her, it means that her spirit is either free or possessing somewhere else. And the other place that I was talking about was the rogue staff bots in the sewers. Now, I also wanted to point out that that Fazbear Entertainment was throwing out probably dysfunctional um, dysfunctional uh, staff bots, which is why, you know, they threw them out into the sewers. However, because that is where, like, Charlie's spirit was freed, like, how, because that was kind of like the level where Charlie's spirit was freed. Like, obviously, it's not in the same area because the, the location of the FNAF 6 location is across you know, the entire map. However, when it's freed, it could likely travel to a, a bunch of different places. And, um, and it, it appears that, that because of the whole sound effect and because of the whole, you know, the whole design in your dreams, all that, it seemed like her spirit had now possessed all the stat bots in 
uh, Staffbot Silo and Underground the Sewers, even the ones that are fully functional, the ones that I believe were fully functional um, just so like you had staff bots to investigate things down in the sewers, but for some reason they're using like they're using ones that are um, like rogue. I I wouldn't. That would be terrible safety protocol, especially for a, a franchise that has had a lot of terrible problems that have happened in their past. So that's not something that they would do. However, it makes sense if. Charlie's Agony is now free and is now able to possess these staff bots, even the ones that are decommissioned, but also the ones that are commissioned um, and are walking around, um, which the whole distinction between the ones that are possessed by Charlie and the ones that aren't are the face, the whole in your dreams, all that. It shows that like her spirit is now possessing these and they could still be fully functional. They just, they don't have to be decommissioned in order for Charlie to possess them. In fact, I, I, like, as both we see in the sewers and the ones in the Vanny ending, um, and I also wanted to point out, uh, that I think I failed to mention, that, that the ones, <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that, the ones that are in the sewers are also fully functional. Like I said, I think they're being controlled by Vanny, um, Obviously, you know the whole disassemble Freddy and then she pushes the button? That's her basically activating them. So it could very well be that Vanny maybe knows where Gregory is or like whenever she, he falls into the trap, it's like alerting Vanny of something and that's why she can press the button to kill them or something like that. Or like it's a whole weird explanation, but like I think they are functional. I don't think they're like destroyed or anything because obviously they kill you. So like they're functional. Um, but yeah, I wanted to point that out because I still see some people, including someone, you know who you are, that believes that the blob is possessing the puppet. Uh, I mean, the the other way around, the puppet is possessing the blob, I apologize. And, um, I don't believe that at all. Um, because honestly, it, it doesn't make sense why the puppet would be continuing to possess the blob if she's able to be freed. Because as we see, as we see in the FNAF 6 ending, Henry freed her. And she appeared to be the only character that was actually freed. And also we see um, the MCI, like we see that once her mat, like she can, once she is freed, her mask is gone. Like her mask like separates from her body and possibly loses the tear tracks to show that she's free. And in the Happiest Day, it didn't show missing tear tracks. But in this game, it obviously did, which means that Happiest Day likely has happened, which is why I also believe that it's very possible that the Blob is also not even possessed by the MCI kids. Um, and I also believe that, you know, the MCI kids are also freed, because that it would make sense why after FNAF 6, that's when Happiest Day happened. And um, I know people are going to object because of the child laughter inside a... Uh, inside the blob and I think that could very well just be the child of Funtime Freddy possessing it because I think that in Happiest Day I don't think Funtime Freddy's spirit was freed because in FNAF sister location we in the blueprints we know that there's a kid inside Funtime Freddy so um so it would make sense why Funtime Freddy's spirit would be heard in the whole Afton boss fight so that's something I wanted to point out and also you guys are also probably going to object the whole the MCI kids are not in the blob because of the of that we see Bonnie and Freddy uh, not Bonnie and Freddy sorry Bonnie and Chica and Mangle inside the blob and to that I have to say I think they're AR animatronics like we now know sadly that AR is canon um and if they're not AR animatronics then why the heck aren't cuz like as we see uh, like, when they're repaired, obviously, uh, they probably get decommissioned, and the animatronics, but I, there's something, there, there's, like, I, I can't recall off the top of my head, but there are multiple design changes that are different between the animatronics inside the blob and the animatronics uh, that are possessing the MCI kids, so I think that they are AR animatronics, and they could very, very well be, poss be uh, the, the kids possessing them could very possibly be the kids that were disappearing inside the pizza plex as we see in the leave ending and the ones maybe the ones that vanny like lures them into and then kills them inside the blob um 
so she can harness more remnant to like piece together Afton, that would actually make a lot of sense. Um, so I think, I don't think that the animatronics inside the blob are actually MCI kids. So I, I think they're other kids, possibly the new disappearing kids for the pizza plex. Um, because I think happiest day likely has happened. However, the happiest day theory that I just brought up might very well be objecting my statement that the puppet is possessing the, uh, the staff bots in the sewers. So I think that the happiest day is their souls being set free, meaning they're set free. They can do whatever they want, I guess, but the puppet can, you know, possess, um, you know, the puppet can possess whatever she wants, I guess, now that she's free. It's, it's strange, but I do think that the pup, the, basically my conclusion is that I don't think the puppet is possessing the blob. And, uh, I also think that the puppet is very much possessing the animatronics in the sewers. Um, the staff bots in the sewers, my bad. So anyway, that's all I wanted to point out. Uh, I had a lot of thoughts that I wanted to speak of in the car. Uh, on the way here because it was like a three-hour drive and I was really really bored because I didn't have Wi-Fi So yeah, that's all I just wanted to say I also wanted to say that Matt Pat's theory really well done by far your best theory of security breach like 100% Everything was good except I think for a difference in the ending that I think we have I also think that you might think that the the princess quest ending is canon which I don't think so I think Maybe both of them are canon, actually. Maybe both of them being canon would actually make a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, that's all I kind of wanted to go over. So uh, have a great day, and yeah, I will see you. Peace out.